everyone. I'm from your telephone company. We know that dial telephones are easy to use. However, mistakes in dialing do occur. Uh, these mistakes waste a lot of time and can cause someone else to be inconvenienced and probably irritated. I'd like to tell you about a few pointers to be followed in dialing. Always be sure that you have the right number. Consult your directory for any number you're not sure of. Write the number down. It saves time to keep the numbers in front of you while dialing. Now, let's use this demonstration model to dial our number. Always listen for the dial tone. Now, let's dial the number we looked up and made a note of. Worth 4, 9970. Now be sure to dial the first two letters of the central office name, then the five numbers. For example, for Worth 4, 9970, dial. When dialing, notice that I brought my finger around until it firmly touched the finger stop. And now, I remove my finger and let the dial go back by itself. Now, failure to bring your finger firmly to the finger stop with each pull of the dial may cause you to reach a wrong number. The same can happen if you force the dial back instead of letting it go back by itself. An important point to remember when dialing is that wherever you have the letter O or the numeral O, as in our example number worth 49970, you will find the letter O next to N on the left side of the dial. The numeral O is always in the same space with the word operator. Soon after you dial the number you want, you will hear the ringing signal. Let the telephone ring for at least a minute or about 10 rings to give the person you're calling time to answer. If the number dialed is busy, you will hear the familiar busy signal. When you hear this signal, hang up. Try again a little later. Now, those of you with the party line may lift your telephone to listen for the dial tone and hear conversation or the ringing signal. This means that another party on your line is using the telephone. When this occurs, hang up. And wait a reasonable length of time before you try again. Now, let's review these dialing pointers again. Make sure you have the correct number. If not, consult your directory. Write the number down. Refer to the complete number while dialing. Make a note of the numbers you frequently call. For this purpose, you can get a free personal numbers booklet from your telephone company business office. Remember, before dialing, listen for dial tone. If you dial before you hear dial tone, you may get a wrong number or no number at all. Then dial the first two letters of the central office name and the five numerals which make up the complete number. W O four nine nine seven O. Remember, make sure your finger firmly touches the finger stop with each pull of the dial. If at any time you wish to review dial procedure, you will find instructions in the front of your directory. Follow these suggestions and you will save time and be pleased with the use and convenience of your dial telephone.